And today we get to talk about cold weather moving in at this point in mid October. A freeze watch in effect, not for tonight, but for tomorrow night into Wednesday morning and probably similar setup the following night, Wednesday night into Thursday. Freeze watch in effect for north of the lake spots into Mississippi, and that's just to remind you if you have sensitive plants, maybe just planted a garden, something like that. You may just want to protect them, bring them inside or cover them or whatever you normally do to protect your plants north of the lake. South of the lake, we're looking those mornings for 40s as opposed to 30s, but if you're on the north shore, you're looking at a frost or maybe even for some spots a light freeze possible with lows maybe in the lower to middle 30s. That would be the coldest in almost seven months since the the end of March. We haven't seen weather that cold. Currently, though, we do have clouds. We have temperatures around 76 in New Orleans. Looking quickly at our temperatures, most of us in the 70s to about 80 degrees or so, including 82 at Gulfport and 84 at Buras, but 70s for the south shore of Lake Pontchartrain. The average high right now is 80 degrees, and that's what I have for our high expected today. The average low is 64. Records right now are in the 90s for highs, and for the south shore, record low temperatures have mostly been in the lower or middle 40s. So we will be flirting with some record low temperatures moving into the middle of the week. Live radar is quiet right now. We don't have rain. We do have a slight chance for a shower, mostly very light rain this afternoon or evening. But the leading edge of the cool air is getting here as we speak. Now it's not really showing up yet. We'll have to wait for a while, but you can see that low pressure area off to the northeast of us and very chilly weather, of course, far to the north in the Midwest. Here we are in the 70s and even lower 80s in Louisiana. But this is the big upper low and look at this cold air. It's going to push that south into South Louisiana and coastal Mississippi, which is of course what's making us get this cold front this uh, time of October. Today we expect highs, as I said, about 80, 81 perhaps. Slight chance for a shower and then this evening we're dropping through the 70s. But you can see the drop off this evening. It's not going to be very drastic just yet. It's going to feel probably about the same to some of the evenings we've had lately. 9 p.m. Temperature still about. 70 degrees, perhaps a little bit lower north of the lake in the 60s, but we continue to drop overnight. So by tomorrow morning, it will be chilly north shore lows in the 40s and south of the lake temperatures in the 50s. So this is your Tuesday wake up forecast. We'll have likely at least some clouds, but clearing through the day as that drier air works in and we're going to start chilly. So things you haven't thought about in a while, perhaps a little bit of a heavier jacket, a sweatshirt even south of the lake for many of us possibly even through the day because high temperatures will only make it into the 60s. So tomorrow by lunchtime, it may only be about 59 or 60 degrees. So that's chilly to me for sure. And you saw those average temperatures will be well below that. As we look at tomorrow evening, we'll drop from the 60s into the 50s. And then this is Wednesday morning. This is one model's prediction. You can see very close to freezing for some North Shore spots and south of the lake temperatures in the 40s to about 50 or so. Keep in mind, even though north of the lake is the spot where you'll likely want to protect any sensitive plants this early in the season, keep in mind your pets may need to be protected as well, both north and south of the Lake Pontchartrain. We say that when we drop into the 40s at night, so something we haven't had to think about in a while. By the way, the first freeze dates on average for New Orleans, it's December 14th, but the earliest on record is November 1st. And Slidell, the average, is November 20th, but look at the earliest on record. October 29th. So if we do hit freezing at Slidell at the airport this week, that would be a new record first freeze. Our seven day forecast is showing the cool down Wednesday and Thursday mornings. Again, those are the cold ones. We warm up pretty fast though at the end of the week, but still looks pleasant into the weekend. All right. Thank you, Alexandra. In the past couple of years, home prices have soared by